Hey, it's Isaac here. So today I'm going to be doing a review over Tulip, one of the things I actually rather much like. Now, Tulip is a stack based around upgrading or optimizing your cellular mitochondria. Now, what it focuses on is creating smaller, more efficient, and many more of mitochondria that together, which rather make more ATP, produce up your energy levels, keep you more stable, and it helps also not just mitochondria, but help, it can help with um, the cells throughout, it can help throughout the cell. Um, it can help with genesis, it can help with um, healing and everything. It, it's, a, it's pretty much an energy focused stack. Um, there's PPQ, CoQ10, Sigilt, if I'm saying it right, or Sigilt, I'm probably saying it wrong. Um, there's also, we also use either lasers or um, LEDs in the infrared range. There's, very, there's varying uh, wavelengths we use or that can be used, and I'll talk about those in a second. A few other supplements can be taken with to um, add a nootropic value to or make it stronger, depending on the person and what they're looking for specifically, but that's pretty much the basic stack. Now, there's plenty of studies behind this, um, and below there will be a ton of links going to different various studies about this topic and um, what it's about, and just a lot of studies, yeah. And of course, links to the um, forum, longacy.org, where a lot of this, the stack came about to be. And of course, a link to Los Falco's profile page. He's the one who started all this. Thumbs up to him. Either way, though, um, here's the LED, which is plugged in, yeah. Um, here's the LED I have for my tulip. Actually, I have two. This is just one of them. Um, it wasn't a case. I took it apart, um, pulled the LED plate out, or actually board. Now, I use this pretty much on my frontal lobe, um, my vision centers, and my um, speech centers, in a way. I've been focusing on speech a bit because I'm wanting to my verbal or my fluency a bit, you know, which if you've been watching these videos, I do make um, speech errors and stutter and such, but it has actually frankly got a lot better. I don't slur and I do speak up and I don't uh, mumble as nearly as much as I can, but it's something I have to work on and get better with, so. What the lasers are specifically doing is that they're causing a photobiomodulation. You're shining the lasers or the LEDs, the infrared light into the cell, it goes into the cell. Um, the light is going into the mitochondria, it's essentially donating an electron to the process, a, a particular process in the mitochondria, I think it's called a, it's called a key, and it's helping with the AP, ATP production there. So it's helping upregulate up and increase energy of, and the supplements you're taking with it, the PPQ and the CoQ10 help with this, and it's essentially all of it is trying to upgrade your mitochondria, make more smaller efficient ones, like I've been saying. It, it helps you with more energy. For me, what it's done for me, the stack, along with everything else I've been taking. Um, socially, I can do things now. Before, socially, I was I was pretty much inept. I was awkward. I really couldn't do much. I and mean, I could do things, but whatever. But now I can go out. Um, I'm excited to go outside. I have friends. I can do things. I have a life. Um, before, I, conversations have got better. I can carry on a conversation well. I can usually keep a step or two ahead, depending on who I'm talking to, of course. And um, as far as memory goes, I agree. I, recall has got a lot better. I'm not sure if actual memory currently is necessarily better, but recall is definitely increased. I can recall stuff like happened years. I'll be in a conversation talking to somebody, they'll say something, or I'll think something, and I'll have some like a little mini flashback in my mind of something that happened like five years ago, or maybe there's a song I would hear on the radio, and I'll hear this, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that song, and there's something, somehow it's relevant to the conversation, and I can make a point about it. Or maybe I start singing the song because it was funny. Either way, socially, I'm, I'm a fun person now. I don't know, it's weird. I must say, and I'm, I'm a weird person, so I should know these type of things. Now, there's varying wavelengths um, that are common. Um, there's 608, 660, 850. I can use pretty much anything from, like, I think 600 to about, like, 875-ish. For the infrared range, that is. Now, um, there's also some stuff about pulsing it. It might be better because you, because the mitochondria, um, the keys, and on that, since you're donating the electron to the process, which I'll put a link right here for that if I can. Yes, yeah, so that's all below. Um, one of the things I must say to not use the LEDs on or the lasers, infrared light, don't use it on your heart. Because NASA, um, they actually use that on astronauts when they turn from space to help. Um, it puts their heart under a certain stress to keep it pumping, keep it from failing possibly from the induced gravity. Um, I did it once unknowingly. Um, I did it just happened to do it the day I just happened to um, get um, Mod Alert in the mail. Mod Alert is not Pro Vigil. They're, Completely different things. One's one's one actually works, and the other one's a sugar pill. Anyway, I've been doing tulip for about three weeks prior, and I got the modeler mail, so I popped one of those. It felt kind of weird, kind of not not really over focus, just weird. I'll do a video about that later on, more in depth about this, but 
It's just weird. Um, and I decided to put the LED ray over my heart, just to drive it here and just to measure out the entire thing. And I must say, that was one of the stupidest things I've ever done. Legit. Also, I did end up taking another um, half pill of modeler. I had the 200 milligrams, so that was another 100 milligrams um, about six hours later. Because um, I was doing like an 18, 20 hour day, so I thought it'd be fine. It wasn't so fine. Um, it kept me awake for almost three days. Um, I think the model, the modeler had a bit to do with it, and the modeler can um, cause a part arrhythmia on everything. It can cause arrhythmia. But I think it was the um, really the LEDs. For some reason, it kept me awake because um, every time I tried, it kept giving me this really weird arrhythmia. My heart would speed up really fast. It slowed down. It speed up real fast. It slowed down, and it just. I already, I already have like an atrial valve problem from my mother's side. That's that's nice. But um, I couldn't sleep for three days. I'd lay down to go to sleep. My heart would be pounding really fast or just really heavily. I think my blood pressure might have been high either way. Now I'd sit, I'd lay down. I would slow my heart rate down. Okay, not slow. I can fall asleep. I'm drifting. I'm drifting off. Okay, I was even using um sleep of, sleep hypnosis at one point to try and get myself to fall asleep on YouTube. Was it one of those tracks? It was actually a pretty decent one. Trying myself to fall asleep, I'm falling asleep, and every time I get to the point where you fall asleep, I had to stop focusing on the point of controlling my heart rate. And once I let that go, my heart rate would pop right back up, and it'd be, I'd, I'd jerk back awake like this really weird thing, like someone had shaking. It was like, oh god. I did that for almost three days without sleep, and I at the time I was working two jobs. That was terrible. That was, don't do that. Don't use it on your heart. D don't, unless you no, no, don't do it. But yeah, uh, I use it now on my thyroid. Um, there's a lot of information on thyroid. I'll be doing a, um, a video on thyroid on thyroid as well. Thyroid, um, it helps with actually helping with the cellular tissue of the thyroid. Um, helps keep it up regulated. There is mitochondrial there, so it helps. There's mitochondria in every cell, but they're most concentrated in the brain and heart. So Tulip has had some pretty profound effects. I mean, it's pretty much increased my energy around, all around. Before, I all I would do is sit at my computer and just read, research, or read a book. I don't know, I, I never really went out much. Or I did, I worked, I had a job for a while there. But after doing all my nootropics and everything, and really, they, nootropics for me have helped me, with my mind, helped me become smarter in a way, yes, and cognitively, not to say enhanced, but op, more optimal. But one of the best things i found is, strictly, you, you have to build the cognitive skills. You have to, it's use it or lose it. It's, it brings much like a muscle. I'm sure if you're gonna exercise, you're gonna build those muscles up, but as soon as you stop, they kind of go away. If you don't use them at all, they wither pretty quick. Look at astronauts, they go up there, they don't use a lot of them, their muscles, and the, the decay happens pretty quickly. And the same with your mind. You don't use it, you lose it. Cause... So yeah, that's um, my tulip review. I hope you guys like it. Um, There's a lot more information about this. Um, Check the links below, do your own research. Don't rely solely on me for any of this. This is my anecdotal report and what I think about it, and I think everybody might benefit from it. So, hey, it's, it, can, it can help with depression, it can help with a array of different cognitive declines and problems, so why not? But yeah, um, for me, it's one of the most profound things I've actually done nootropic-wise, and um, if you want to, I'd, I'd suggest you try it. It's not too expensive to get into, the PPQ, CoQ10, and laser, or LEDs. LEDs are cheaper, more effective, arguably. But yeah, that's my review over this, and I hope you liked this video. And if you would, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, like this, share it, and as always, try to be the most optimal you, you can be. And Isaac out.